Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo on exploring the Pacific Northwest with the rock hounds here and I have a feature for you today. It's time for another featured Friday and this is our feature. See that mountain in the background? Your challenge today is to figure out what mountain is that? And uh, to some people, maybe this is easy. Uh, let me zoom in, give you some more, uh, a better view of it. If you've been in the Pacific Northwest, this might be an easy one, but be careful because it's easy to mix mountains up in the Pacific Northwest as well. Um, the, I guess the, your first hint is that it is the, in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. I am in America uh, making this video. And yeah, I'm just touring around, checking out all kinds of cool features, geologic features, so many great things to see and explore in this part. Um, and this view is phenomenal. Uh, videos sometimes don't do views, landscape views justice. That thing has, you know, what appear, it's a mountain. It appears to have some amazing prominence. It appears to look huge on the skyline. Um, and it's even more incredible in person, I can tell you that. Uh, so, I, hopefully I've given you enough time so far to conjure up a guess. Let me make sure I give you the best view. I'm kind of on the side of a hill here, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, but let me walk up here, give you the best view. Those of you that know certain mountains in the Pacific Northwest, that view might help you out there. There are definitely some prominent features to see. So, um, as you th throw your guests down in the comments, again, what we do here is uh, you throw your guests down and then you can watch the end of the video and see if your guess was correct or you can learn something new today. Um, so while you're doing that, I'll continue to blab about what we're looking at here. So you see that appears to have a lot of snow on that mountain, right? Um, we are looking at glaciers. We are looking at alpine glaciers. I will talk more about glaciers here. There is important differences, but there are important differences between uh, glaciers when we're talking about alpine glaciers or glaciers on mountains versus continental glaciers, things like that. Um, I'll go into those details later, but yeah, we are looking at over 20 glaciers. So all that ice and snow, you see all that white and that albedo we see. Yeah, that's definitely some glaciers there on that mountain. Um, yeah, so, okay, when I'm, I'm just calling it a mountain because I'm trying to be careful, but now I'm going to start uh, giving you the best hints ever. So that is not just any mountain, that is a volcano. And that is an active volcano. So again, maybe I'll give you a few more seconds with those extra hints. You still wanna come up with what volcano is it? And again, it might be easy, it might be difficult. There are features to look for on the different volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest to identify them. So what volcano do you see? Throw your guess in the comments. Um, I will be showcasing more of these. I'll showcase this one and some other uh, volcano friends here in the Pacific Northwest uh, here at Let's Go Geo. So if you want to learn more about volcanoes and, and what you're looking at here in the Pacific Northwest, then yeah, check out the coming content here at Let's Go Geo. I also have some other stuff that's already up. Um, I did a full length video actually on this mountain, on this volcano. Um, not too long ago. So if you've been joining along on the adventures, then you m that might be the next hint because there's only so many up so far. Um, if you watch that full length video, it was long and detailed about this volcano, then that's your next hint. So you might be able to guess now. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing some more about these volcanoes. So let's just go ahead and reveal now. I think we've given you enough time to think about it. That is Mount Rainier. That is the volcano called Mount Rainier, and it is one of the largest volcanoes in America, and it is active. It could go off um, any time in our lifetime, and if and when it does, it's going to be a big deal. Um, if you've seen some of the stuff I've talked about with Mount St. Helens, when Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980, it, uh, you know, we have ash, we have pyroclastic, stuff like that. Um, but it was the lahars that really maybe surprised people because lahars, or you think of them as mudslides, all of that debris becomes a slurry and towers down the side of these volcanoes. Think about all that 
that ash and, and debris and that melting ice and, and snow and, and water flowing down, just churning and, and filling those river valleys uh, just below the volcano, that is scary stuff. So um, the lahars are one of the biggest risks. And when what geologists have seen in the past that Mount Rainier, uh, we can actually see in the geologic formations evidence of uh, historic lahars and they they stretch really far from the volcano i won't go into all that if you want to learn about that check out my full length video on mount rainier i went into lots of details so if you like details check that one out but for today that's our featured friday the beautiful mount rainier volcano i'll see you guys on the next adventure here at let's go geo